everyone, my name is Victoria. I'm the social media contributor to CORE and welcome to another episode of Meet the Contributors. This time we're with Barney Chambers. So hi, Barney. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your Web3 background? Sure, yeah. Hi, it's great to be here. Uh, I'm one of the contributors at CORE from an engineering perspective. Um, my background in crypto started in about 2014 when I was building um, layer one blockchains, um, some of the like OGs, like similar to Litecoin and um, XRP and things like that. And then uh, my focus shifted from um, an interest in like the protocol layer of blockchain and more on the smart contract side of blockchains. Um, and now I'm working um, with Core, uh, in particular on interoperability and trying to find out ways to more closely tie um, the core EVM to Bitcoin and build a really nice user experience for anyone who's interested in Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin um, scaling. Uh, products. You kind of answered it already, but what do you exactly contribute to in core? Um, yeah, so right now at the moment, I'm contributing mainly on the um, interoperability side of things. One of the things that's really important to core is being as closely tied to Bitcoin as possible in a way that is um, as decentralized and trustless as possible as well. And um, I've been working in interoperability in general in crypto for about uh, five or six years now. And so my focus at core is trying to build out um, this technology in such a way that we can keep it as decentralized as possible um, and as useful to people who are interested in uh, Bitcoin scaling and using um, the EVM on top of it. Okay. And how do you approach challenges and problem solving within the dynamic environment of uh, core? Well, I think in, in blockchain in general, things are moving at super speed. Um, this uh, niche in software development is moving like so quickly that you really have to um, be on the, on the top of your game when it comes to like uh, reading the most recent research and being involved like collaboratively with other leading uh, people in crypto. So um, you know, I like um, to make sure that I stay up to date with things like all of the EIP forums and all the latest and greatest on Ethereum technology, but also like getting involved in hackathons and um, you know, building interesting technology with other people who are you know, interested in crypto uh, like myself. And in what ways do you believe Cordao is pushing the boundaries of innovation in the blockchain space? Well, I think that Bitcoin scaling is a low hanging fruit at the moment with the Taproot upgrade a couple of years ago. Um, we really haven't seen the full potential that Bitcoin has now that we have this um, new landscape of how Bitcoin works and how we can uh, build on top of it. And so I think Core is solving a lot of like really interesting problems around that, in particular, uh, building like smart contract infrastructure on top of Bitcoin and kind of opening the floodgates to like DeFi opportunities and all the interesting things that we've seen on the Ethereum side for a number of years. And so uh, Core is a really great place because there are so many people working here all on um, like very innovative challenges, like trying to get, um, for example, uh, like core Bitcoin staking, where you stake your Bitcoin um, in an environment that is fully decentralized um, and uh, using smart contracts and things like that. There are lots of little problems like this that no one has quite solved yet. And we have lots of um, teams at core who are all actively trying to solve these um, you know, pioneering issues in the space. And so it's a very exciting and dynamic place to work. Awesome. And can you describe the collaborative culture at core uh, and how it contributes to the project success? So Core is a very like open source centric um, community of contributors. One of the things that I really like about um, contributing at Core is that um, everyone who is interested in open source and interested in um, contributing to this technology, um, there's a very flat hierarchy of um, if someone wants to contribute something and they propose something interesting, um, their voice is heard. Everyone who's working at Core as a contributor really cares about Bitcoin, about Bitcoin scaling, and um, you know, you're able to work with like-minded people who are you know, very intelligent, very keen on cryptocurrency and blockchain and build stuff together that is you know, really interesting and exciting and right on the cutting edge. And how do you stay updated and informed about the latest trends in blockchain and how does this knowledge influence your work at Core? I would say that there's a great community at Core of people who are really interested in the cutting edge technology surrounding Bitcoin and um, the EVM and scaling solutions. So just being around um, all the other people contributing to Core has helped me stay up to date with the latest and greatest. Because everyone here is really interested in what's happening um, in other you know, peripheral technologies and what's the newest um, big thing in crypto. So you know, just having a community around you that you can learn from and bounce ideas from and, and, and um, you know, find out new interesting things about blockchain. Chain. Uh, that's one of the things I think that's um, the best about um, being a contributor at core. 
And looking into the future, what exciting developments can the community expect from Core and how could they get involved? We have a lot of really interesting technologies that we're going to be releasing in our you know, medium to long term roadmap. One of the things that I'm, I'm in particular contributing to is a fully decentralized exchange that is completely trustless, um, cheaper than all of the latest and greatest um, currently available on Ethereum, like Uniswap and things like that, but also completely um, chain agnostic. So you'll be able to swap. Um, Bitcoin for Ethereum or Core for Monero completely trustlessly, completely decentralizedly, and for a comparable fee to something like Uniswap. And we expect this technology to be out in some, somewhere between three to six months from now. And I think that this is going to um, shape the foundations of decentralized finance in particular. And this is just one technology I call um, that we're building um, of about six really like awesome and exciting technologies um, that you can. Um, probably see in the next three to six months. So it's definitely worth staying tuned. Okay, thank you so much. And thank you so much for this interview. That would be it from uh, my side today. Stay tuned for another episode of Meet the Contributors. And I hope you learn a lot about uh, Barney and his contribution to Core DAO. Thank you, Barney, for joining. Great, thank you. And anyone who wants to get involved with Core, make sure to you know, join our Discord and our Telegram, and I'll be happy to chat with you. Thanks.